It's a day to honor UN troops who've given their lives to keeping international peace. Last year, at least 32 blue helmets were killed in targeted attacks. The Democratic Republic of the Congo and Mali have seen the most fatalities, a trend continuing this year, marking the 75th anniversary of UN peacekeeping operations. In both countries, after years of instability, there have been demonstrations calling for the troops to leave. The man who oversees 87,000 peacekeepers is quick to defend them. He says there's a perception problem. There's a discrepancy between the expectations and what we can do, and even what we could do with the best level of equipment, resources, which we don't have. For millions around the world in places ravaged by conflict, peacekeepers may stand between life and death. But they face a broad set of challenges, often caught between countries that want them to do more and an international organization that wants them to do so with less. The UN has warned violent extremism is a growing threat in Africa, particularly in the sub-Saharan Sahel region. The increasing attacks against civilians and civilian infrastructure mean that we have more to do. We believe that the evolution of the protection of civilians in peacekeeping mandates, from initially being a minor component of mission mandates to now becoming one of the principal objectives of peacekeeping, is one that must be reinforced. France, once a major troop contributor to the region, recently pulled out its forces after facing more attacks and backlash from their inability to stop them. Analyst Richard Gowan says the UN is in a difficult position. Its troops are under attack and it doesn't really have the military capabilities or the political leverage to enforce peace. In Africa in particular, we're seeing governments that are disillusioned with UN peacekeeping turning to alternative security providers. A divided Security Council makes negotiating new mandates and finding new funding a challenge, especially in Mali. But the status quo is not an option, even for one reason, which is that um, it's a mission that is overstretched. Uh, its mandate was extended three years ago to the center of uh, Mali, uh, but there were no corresponding additional resources that were provided. Without those resources, he warns nations in conflict will have to look elsewhere for help. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, the United Nations.